She needs to do what she needs to do. I know, but she's first. Like dressed. Every time we need to go somewhere, every time we need to do something, it's always this <laughs> behavior. Was I seeing right? An eight-year-old throwing a fit like she's some four-year-old. This is ridiculous. Do you want to go Completely outside? ridiculous. <laughs> Parents allowing their eight-year-old daughter to hold control over them like a four-year-old. I was totally stunned. It takes one minute to put clothes on, and you can have your toy back. Where do you want to get dressed? Yeah. Fine, then get dressed in here. Yeah. Here's your clothes. Brandon and I are leaving. Excuse me? What is going on here? Um, somebody doesn't want to get dressed. Somebody doesn't want to get dressed? Mm hmm So what's been happening? Temper tantrum. Yeah. Power struggle. Yeah. All right, so where are we now? Why is she in this room? Because she said she wants to get dressed in here. So what is she doing to you right now? Right now? It's stressing me out. When I walked into the bedroom and asked Mum what was going on, she told me everything was fine now. Like, are you kidding me? What is going on here? So what do you need to do now? Make sure she gets stressed. So how are you going to change that? Get control. Yeah. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Well, I'm going to show you. This behaviour is unacceptable. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to go straight back into your bedroom. I want you to put your clothes on. And when you've done that, I want you to go and see Mummy. Do you understand me? Right, right now. Right now. I don't think Kayla has ever been spoken to very firmly. I think Kayla has been modicoddled with sweet, sweet sing-song voices, or she's been yelled at. I was clear, and I showed her I meant business. And she got herself up from the bedroom and into her own and started to get herself dressed. What did I do? You raised your voice. Obs observe what I did. You want me to say? Kayla, get your clothes on right now and go get dressed. Mm -hmm. So how do you sound? If I'm more firm, then I'll be more authoritative. So why didn't you use her? Oh, I definitely back down when it comes to Kayla. Some ways I'm strong, but in many ways I'm very weak. Do you know why your toy was taken away from you today? Yes, you do know. You do know why your toy was taken away. I know you know. Was you listening and doing as you were told? No. No, exactly. OK, let's get one thing clear here. You're being asked to do something. If your mum and dad tell you to get yourself dressed, then you must respect your parents and listen. Because if you don't, then there's going to be consequences for that. What do you need to do? Do it. Exactly. Was she happy? No. Did she cry? Yes. But did she do it? Yes. Uh, what, what are we doing here? What are, what are you doing? I walked past Kayla's bedroom to see Mum apologising for the discipline that Kayla had just received. I mean, this Mum has just undermined everything that we have just accomplished. You went in there because of what? Feeling guilty. And why did you feel guilty? Because I saw her sad. Listen to what is coming out of your mouth. You feel guilty because you've asked your eight-year-old to do what I successfully get three-year-olds to do. So, do you think she's going to remain sad for the rest of the day? Do you think right. she's going to grow up hating you? Seriously, is that what you think? You want to sort this out, you better take it seriously with me. Because I've come in here 100% willing to help you, and I want you on board. Aren't we here for your kids yes. to teach them? Yes. For you to feel empowered as a parent? Yes. Then allow me to do that. Okay. Laurie is absolutely petrified that she is not going to have a good relationship with her own daughter. And that is what's stopping her from disciplining her own daughter. It was truly an eye-opener to see the observation of other people, of how they see. <laughs>